Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. This is my first clip in 2024 where I really get to exercise my passion and inspiration on really trying to help motivate people. You may think why and what quantifies you to be able to do that then, Bradley? Well, I've been through a lot, my friend. I'm 30 years of age and I truly do believe from the bottom of my heart, it's not how you fall down, it's how you get back up. So if you're going through something difficult at the moment and you've just enjoyed Christmas and now you're feeling a bit blue because you've got to jump straight back into life now, you've had the first week or so of January and you're just feeling like that you could do have a break again, have faith in yourself, have strength and just take a moment just to look after yourself. Yourself. So when the day is done, when work is done, it's really, really important to ease yourself back into whatever you're going through. And if it's a long sort of journey, a long pattern of events, more so important to give yourself that time in the evening or an afternoon, or even if you've got it back to front, because some people do, where they have that windows time in the morning, then it's so, so important with whatever you're going through or however you approach this year to make time for you. So whenever you've done what you've done, you need to do for the day, switch off and whether that be anything which makes you happy from take a moment to watch your TV program, your favorite TV programs, spending time with a loved one or just simply making your favorite meal. It does make all the difference. Now, Anybody going into a new year will always tell you that it can be a bit daunting and I think it's perfectly normal to feel that, that way as well. A new year, however, let's remember, brings the opportunity of new starts, new beginnings, new aspirations and to hopefully put our hopes and dreams into practice and hopefully we achieve them. However, it's important not to go too far ahead. Many years ago now, in my early 20s, I had a conversation with somebody which I've always remembered. Now, I would always beat myself up, and I still do very often, um, and this is part of why I do my channel, because it's not just helping to motivate people, but it's also helping to motivate and talk about things and to help me on my journey of life as well, because we're all on that journey together. But I had this conversation with somebody which has always stood out in my mind that actually I would always try to almost build the year uh, in January and almost try to preempt everything which I was going to do, what I was going to achieve. And ultimately what I was doing was really putting that bar up for myself, which in in essence, you're, if you're always putting that bar so high and you're never quite reaching there, because let's be honest, life gets in the way, no matter how we plan for something in this life, there is just a way of life, of patterns of advance, which take place and you may not achieve it at a certain point, you may achieve it slightly earlier, you may do something a little bit later, or it might not even happen at all for whatever reasons. Now, I can talk, I can talk because for me, health hasn't always been the best thing for me, especially throughout my 20s. I had a lot of operations, I had a lot of health problems. I'm okay now, I still deal with things, but it certainly does not define me, and I hate for people to see that before they see me. Now, from that conversation, which I always remember, it was just something as simple as somebody in my workplace took a moment to share some thoughts with me and actually said, you know what, I've got the same problem that I worry and stress when we come into a new year. But what I do is I look no further ahead than a three month period, because you shouldn't never set yourself targets and goals for that year. OK, we all have hopes and dreams and aspirations, what we want to do for this year, next year and years down the road. But you should never set yourself goals and targets further beyond than that three month period, because number one, it's so almost impossible to be able to plan or preempt what's going to come up. Of course, you can book a holiday for several months down the road. Of course, you can plan for a special event, birthday, Christmas, what have you. But in terms of yourself, whether it's personal life, whether it's career, whether it's finances, try to do it. That would be my one thing which I took from that conversation in my early 20s, that actually I always try to look at things in a three month window. And that would be one of my things which I would suggest for 2024, is if you're thinking, oh, goodness, there's Easter and you're thinking birthdays and you're thinking Christmas next year, leave that well alone. Because number one, let's go back to that analogy, that if you're setting that bar in life so high all the time, and you're going to really struggle to reach that. So ultimately, by not reaching that each time, you're negatively affecting your well-being, your mental health, which again can exacerbate and knock on physical elements in our life. For example, could be health, because it could be physical ailments, but it could also cause stress on your relationship and stress to how you feel about yourself. As well as, of course, if you're trying to achieve something, you're trying to set a standard of something that may sometimes 
have sort of elements of cost associated to it, if it's study or if it's that you're going to do something and trying to cram it all in, then there could be every element of your life could be impacted by that. So I would always say, and one of my biggest recommendations is to go easy on yourself, which we've covered, to break the year down into a three month period. And you know what? If you get to that three month period and you've not done it, do not be hard on yourself because there will be things which you didn't plan for, which you succeeded, which you done amazingly and you got to experience. Because as I always say, life is so incredibly busy and there is always so much going on all of our lives that we're all going through something. And actually, do you know what? Sometimes the most important thing is yes, that you've got to your end goal and yes, you've achieved it, but it's the journey. Because throughout that journey, you would have spent time with loved ones, friends, family, people who you treasure and hold dear to your heart. But yet, at the same point, if you're almost blinded by that fact of that you've got to achieve this by a certain time, a certain period throughout the year, then actually you could miss the very important things in life. And actually you could get to the end of it and you could think, oh, I'm there now. But actually along that journey, there was incredible things which I missed out on. A new year, often is incredibly daunting for all of us. For me, I will share that for you. For example, I turned 30 last year. I do not have any children yet. I am not married and I have not yet bought my first property. Now, years ago, I always had that done up in my mind that if I would reach a certain point in my life and this didn't happen, I would be absolutely petrified. And you know what? Sometimes life does petrify me. I think just the aspect of not being able to control things is quite scary, if I'm being quite honest with you. But that is why I think as I got a little bit older, I realised that we we don't live, and this sounds silly, doesn't it? We don't live in a perfect world. And I think that when you're at school and you're in your education and you're at college and things and you're socialising with friends and one thing or another, what you have is you, you've built a wall kind of around this perfect persona of a life which you live in and you don't never ever want that to end. But as you grow up and you go through your 20s and you actually get things thrown at you through life and you get pulled through the hedge a bit by life, you actually then start to appreciate when actually, do you know what, if I'm healthy and I'm well, I'm looking after my body, do you know what, that actually it's okay if it takes me a little bit longer to achieve it, as long as I still do achieve it. So even though I might not have achieved what I wanted to last year, it was still an incredible year. For example, me, I had two promotions. There was an opportunity for me to evolve and grow in the workplace and in my chosen field and career, which I did. Some incredible things happened in my life. I actually took time out of my life to look after my mum through a real horrific operation and she's now healthy and well. I've got to do some traveling last year. I got to really improve a lot of relationships in my life through friends and and family members. So, so much incredibleness happened. It's how we often look at life as well. So for me, I would always say to somebody that, you know what, life is a book. Okay, write yours how you'd wish to read it. So if you want to read your life as the pattern of events of what you're in at the moment, and you don't really feel like you want to change it, then fantastic, because that's personal to you. But if you want adventure, if you want vast changes and you want an incredible life story as in like an action movie, then make change by change. And believe you me, I know that's not easy. But the minute you start researching it, the minute you start wanting to make change in your life, that's the hardest step. Then putting it into action surely follows as being quite difficult. But getting on that journey, getting things going is where it all starts. And little by little, and even think of it as this again, that three month period, you're going to make one change. My mum, an incredible inspiration to my life, as is my father as well. This year they would have been married 41 years. We had an amazing Christmas season. We had an amazing Christmas and then the week after, which you know what I mean, where nobody really knows kind of what, what day it is. Everybody's just enjoying the Christmas season. And we had New Year. And you know what hit me for six as I went downstairs early in the morning, like I always do. And I live in the family home and uh, I wish my mum and dad a happy new year. My mum said to me, she wished me a happy new year, but she has... Um, my dad and my mum, uh, they had four for us. Um, me being one of a twin and my older two brothers. And she said to all of us, Happy New Year. And she said, for this year, let's just make one change. Let's not concentrate on getting stressed. Let's not concentrate on the bad things or getting wrapped up in sometimes the meaningless things. But let's each one of you concentrate on making one change. And do you know what? That I've held on to that, of course, as, as I will throughout all year. And... 
It means so much in so many different ways. So one change, which we automatically sort of don't want to do. So for example, for me, it's the studying, it's the house, it's the, do you know what I mean, which we've talked about and all of that, but actually one change. So mum for me, for example, meant looking after myself more with health, controlling the worrying, not worrying so much. With my eldest brother, it meant something else. With my next brother down, it meant something else. With my twin brother, it meant something else as well. But it's almost just like that actually, how incredible is that when you think about that? So let's just make one change. We've got 365 days in a year. Let's just end this year in a slightly better position than how we've started it. Let's grow. And I, and I do hugely think that in life, just in human nature, it is so important for us to grow and develop and keep wanting to move on. I heard in a film over the Christmas season, the most scariest thing in somebody is not wanting to learn, evolve, change, grow, develop. And it is, isn't it? So ultimately, with all of that said, this is going to be an amazing 2024. If you're finding yourself in a situation... Uh, to say that again, if you're finding yourself in a situation where you think, actually, do you know what? I can't get through this. I'm not going to get through this. I'm going to give up. Never, ever give up because you are impossible of incredible things. There is only one of you in this world and you are so, so amazing. Just hold on to that. That's how amazing you are. There's one of you in this world. You're a gift to this world. There is one of you and you are loved, and you are cherished, and you are incredible. And remember, there is one of you. I think of it as this. You've got one year, you're in that difficult situation, a storm passes, my friend. And after that storm, often is a beautiful horizon of bright blue skies and sunniness. And you may think, hmm, sounds a bit cheesy. Hold on to that fact. Let's be positive. The power of being positive OK, is incredible because it is almost like a hypothetical hand and rope to you. You know, you're doing fine. You're going to get through this, that positivity. You're going to get through this. I could sit here and get really down and upset, you could think to yourself, or I could keep going. Life is a gift. I could keep going with this. And if you're struggling at that point, then I say to you, my friend, is that as with all of us, there is somebody who would only ever wish to be in your situation right now, whether that them being going through bereavement, whether them going through something horrifically difficult and just personal issues or financial woes or just horrible, nasty things. There is always somebody who would wish to be in your situation. And even though we are all going through something, there is positivity. There is light in the darkest of times. And even though you might not see that right now, there is. And even years later, you will then appreciate and know that light with what you went through. So take things steady, be kind to yourself because that's where it starts. Remember that for you to get through something, you have to look after yourself. For you to love one another, for you to take care of somebody, you have to be strong and healthy yourself. So take care of yourself, make time for you, take time to recharge, invest in yourself, take it by small snippets. And if three month period is too much for you, do it weekly. Sometimes I just have to do weekly. Sometimes if it's such a stressful period in my life or if I'm not feeling very well, it's a day. And actually, you know what? Saying to yourself, whether it's in your prayers and you're a faith like me, or if you're not, then actually just saying to yourself, do you know what? I got through today and it was a really hard, difficult day. And I got through today. And really appreciate that fact that you were strong enough to get through that moment. You were strong enough to get through that test and you're through the other end and tomorrow's another day, another blessing. On that note, lastly, what I would like to leave you with is try not to worry about it because worrying, I've seen one of the most incredible people in my life. My second mum, I always say, my dear Nan, my mum's mum. I looked after her throughout her illness and I was with her when she took her last breath. And this incredible, strong, incredible lady, how she went out of this world, I truly, from that moment then, I have to remind myself sometimes that how incredible that lady was, who was always with me here and here watching over me always, how she went out of this world, all the worrying in the world, why, when somebody so incredible went out of this world like that? All the worrying and stressing in the world, it doesn't add a second onto our life, does it? So let's appreciate things for what they are. And remember, my friends, nobody has promised us tomorrow. So let's grab it with both hands and run with it if we're blessed with one. 
and let's cherish every moment and enjoy that journey. Relax. 365 days ahead of us. Let's take care of ourselves. Let's take it nice and slow. Let's not stress. Let's not worry. God willing, tomorrow is ahead of us. And let's look back on the year when we're at this time at the latter part of this year. Let's hopefully look back and think of ourselves as, do you know what? I handled this year amazing. Just like you. On that note, thank you very much for joining me. And I really do hope that you have an incredible 2024 to come. If you do have any comments or questions for me at all, please leave them down below. God bless you. Thank you very much for taking a moment to share this with me. And I really hope that I've helped you. If not, then leave a response or a comment down below. And if I have, please let me know. Thanks very much. Until next time, I'll be seeing you then. Bye now.